Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my 38 week pregnancy update. And I'm assuming at this point this is probably going to be my last update. I have a lot to fill you in on from this past week. So anyways, if you're new here, my name is Linny. This is my second baby. Both of my kids were conceived through IVF which is a fertility treatment. So we are getting very excited and anxious and we just cannot wait to meet this little babe. So today I am exactly 38 weeks and one day pregnant. Baby is about 19 and a half inches long and my app is telling me that baby is approximately six and three quarter pound um I had my growth scan this past week and baby is measuring at about eight pounds three ounces so like I had been saying in previous videos I make bigger babies so my baby is almost in the 90th percentile at this point so there we are for that um, baby is about the size of a leek, which I have no idea what that is. L-E-E-K, a leek. I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe some sort of green onion. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, spaghetti squash, which, which seems more accurate to me. A winter melon. And for you 90s babies, a speak and spell. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the speak and spell is what was in the movie E.T. Um, that E.T. kind of like plays with throughout the movie. Um, I believe that's what that is. But, anyways. This week, I weighed in at 170. So, I'm really, at this point, not, I haven't, the past couple of weeks, gained much weight. I've gained a total of 41 pounds. I will say I like do not have room in my stomach for anything other than this baby at this point. So eating is like I just never have an appetite right now. I don't feel hungry. And then when I do eat, I feel like a little nauseous and I can only eat very small amounts because I just don't have room. Like my stomach is completely squished. So <laughs> that's where we're at. That's what I'm gonna assume is why I'm just not gaining like a ton of weight right now. As for my symptoms this week, I mean, that's one of them is <laughs> I just can't eat a ton or I feel sick. Um, just, you know, I've been saying just, I've been having normal third trimester symptoms. Really haven't had any leg cramps this week though because I know some weeks I have them much more frequently. I can't, I don't think I've had any this week. Um, my uterus feels very, very heavy. I am like completely exhausted. So, and I probably even look tired. Like, I'm just so tired. I feel so exhausted right now. I mean, yeah, for symptoms, it just, I'm 38 weeks pregnant. So, it is what you would think it is. I don't really have any, like, weird symptoms or anything that I feel like is out of the ordinary. Just your everyday, typical, end of pregnancy symptoms. I did have my growth scan this past week. So I had it actually at the day before I turned 38 weeks. Um, and like I said, baby is measuring at eight pounds, three ounces. And the best part is baby is breech, which is just wonderful because at 38 weeks, there's like a very, very small chance that the baby would turn at this point. I did have a C-section with my daughter. I wanted to go for a VBAC, 
like pretty bad. Um, and it, at this point I'm like accepting the fact that I'm just going to have another C-section. So I actually have an appointment with my OB in two days because I wasn't able to see her that same day. And I'm sure she's going to schedule me a C-section probably for next week. And if she wants to go any later than that, I'm really, really going to push <laughs> for next week. Only because I had a very traumatic experience with my first C-section that I had. And I have like major, major anxiety now that I like kind of am convincing myself that I'm going to have another C-section at this point. Um, I just, my anxiety is so bad right now and I know it's not good for me. It's probably not good for the baby. So if I could just get this over with, like as quick as possible, that would be wonderful because I literally cannot even sleep over th thinking that I'm going to have to have another C-section. So I'm just so terrified, honestly. So that's pretty much where we're at with that. Um, I have been doing things to try to naturally turn the baby. Yes, there is a medical procedure they can do where they manually turn the baby. I honestly don't even think that I would try at this point. I'd rather just have the C-section and get it over with. Um, I believe the procedure they do is called, it's like an EVC or ESV. It's something like that. I don't know. It is done in an operating room because it's dangerous. The baby could um, become distressed. The cord could get wrapped around its neck. Um, there's like a lot of things that could go wrong during the procedure. There's also only a 60% chance that it will work. And I just don't know that I'm willing to take the chances possibly end up then in an emergency C-section. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know that my OB would recommend it anyways because she wanted the baby to measure eight pounds or less and it's already measuring eight three, which I know is just a rough guess. They were completely wrong with my daughter when I went for my growth scan. Um, but I just don't, I think, I know she's going to schedule me a C-section next week. So that's what I'm preparing for at this point. I did have an appointment with her at the beginning of the week where when she checked me, my cervix is still extremely high. So it was hard for her to get up there, but she said it felt like the baby was head down, which it's not. And, um, there's no dilation. I'm thinning a little bit, but like I said, my cervix is still high. The baby's little butt is like perfectly cradled in my cervix and his he its head is like at the top of my stomach and its back is to the left side of my stomach. So it's like facing this way <laughs> sideways. So, I just, I don't know. I don't think baby's going to move at this point. I'm just preparing for a repeat C-section. Cravings. I have been craving um, really not much. I was craving like an ice cold Coca-Cola the other day. Other than that, really not craving much. I was craving hibachi too, but we went and got hibachi. So now I'm good on that craving. <laughs> My sleep has been terrible <laughs> the past couple of days since finding out baby's breach. I just, I can't sleep at night. Like I'm just constantly worrying about having to have another C-section. So I can't, 
it's really hard for me to sleep. And then I'm having to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So, like, when I get up out of bed, which is usually around 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm, like, up. I cannot fall back asleep. And then by the time I do fall back asleep, it's, like, time for me to get up anyways. So, I'm just so exhausted. <laughs> like, I really want to take a nap after this video, but I need to clean. So, that's where we're at for sleep. <laughs> My gender guess. So, I really think at this point, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm going to guess girl. Again, it's just a guess. Like, I don't have a super strong feeling. But I think I'm going to go with girl. So this is like possibly my last guess. I'm guessing girl. <laughs> Movement. So baby has been moving a lot the past few days. And I believe... And I'm doing some things to try to encourage baby to turn naturally. I've tried moxibustion, which if you haven't heard of it, it looks like a cigar and you light the end of it. This is so crazy. It's like so ridiculous. But basically you hold then the lit, what looks like a cigar, at the side of your baby toe for about 10 minutes on each side. <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous. But I'm trying it. And when I do do it, baby is like moving around a ton. I've also had a massage done that is supposed to encourage the baby to turn. I don't know. And then I've been doing some things that I have googled and read on spinning babies so basically they're like all different positions you can get into and um just weird different things that you can try to spin the baby I don't know that any of it's gonna work because my baby's measuring like on the bigger side already and I just don't think it has enough room to move Last night, I'm almost positive that baby was trying to turn, and it just couldn't. <laughs> like, I could feel, since its head is up at the top of my stomach, I could feel it, like, moving, like, trying to move its way down, but it would stop about halfway down my stomach, and then I could feel it come back up. So, I'm pretty sure it was trying to turn, um... A high-risk doctor came in after my ultrasound and was telling me about the procedure they could do and then was also telling me basically that the baby's butt is like perfectly fits in my cervix. So it's really unlikely that it's going to move because it's kind of like wedged in there. So I just don't think the baby will be able to get its little bottom out of my cervix at this point. Which also explains why I'm feeling so much pressure down there. And it, like, my uterus just feels so, so heavy. Because instead of, like, this tiny little head, I have this whole little bottom in my cervix. So, it's quite uncomfortable at this point. Best moment of the week, I guess I will say, was seeing baby. Um, they tried to do a 3D ultrasound, but its little hands are like both up by its face. So it was really, really hard to get a good picture of its face. Otherwise, I'd show you. I'm not going to even pull out the ultrasound because its little hands are like completely covering its face. So that was kind of a bummer, but it was still cool to be able to see the baby and they're moving, and it was practice breathing, and it's just so cute. I just can't wait to, like, hold the baby 
and I just want the baby out of me already. I just want it like here physically. The worst moment this week was finding out that the baby is breech, obviously. Um, I held it together pretty good throughout that whole day. And then in the middle of the night when I woke up because I had to go to the bathroom, I like had a mental breakdown <laughs> and probably cried for a straight two hours, like just in the middle of the night sitting in the bathroom by myself. So I really, <laughs> I really at this point just like want to have the C-section. I want to have it over with. I just don't want to worry about it anymore. Miss anything? Um, I am already missing my daughter. <laughs> like, I, I'm not with her right now. She's at my aunt's house. My aunt was watching her today. But I have never been away from her for a full day since she's been born. Like, I've always seen her at some point throughout every single day since the day she's been born. So... I just miss her already, like, thinking that once we do go to the hospital, I'm not going to see her for a couple of days. It's like breaking my mama heart right now. So, that is what I'm missing already. Looking forward to this little babe. I mean, honestly, like, at this point, is there anything else I could look forward to? I am just looking forward to, like I said, holding this little babe and seeing what it looks like and finding out the gender. And I'm ready. Like, I'm just, I'm so ready to have this baby and to meet this baby. And I'm just looking forward to creating a new normal and just having this little baby in our family and in our lives. I'm just so excited to meet this little one. My rings. So I did have a ring on this finger. In the last two videos, I believe, I said I should be taking it off because it was getting a little tight. Um, so I got that off. Uh, my wedding rings, I'm not going to take them off unless I have to take them off for my C-section which I'll have to ask my doctor because if I have to take them off, I might just leave them at home when I go for my C-section, but they still fit. So here they are. Moody or happy? Um, honestly, this was like a pretty eventful week. <laughs> so I've been on the happier side. Like I was excited for my doctor's appointment that I had. Then I was excited for my growth scan that did not go as <laughs> planned. Um, so I've just been happier. And now I am like anticipating meeting my doctor in two days. Like I almost called her yesterday because it was a Friday yesterday. Today's Saturday so she's not there. And I go in on Monday. So I just have to make it through one more day. <laughs> but I really was going to call her yesterday and be like, can you like schedule me for a C-section on Monday, please? I don't think I could like make it through the weekend worrying about having to have this C-section. So I didn't call her. I can feel my anxiety like talking about it right now <laughs> or throughout this video. I can feel like my anxiety is turning to build again. It literally, you guys, it's all, it's like consuming my mind. It is all that I can think about. And it's just, it's not healthy. <laughs> like I, I need to get it over with. So yeah, I'm really going to push for a C-section next week, which obviously next week I would be 39 weeks anyways. So, usually for a repeat C-section, they want to get you in by 30 weeks. I'm just hoping that they'll do it sooner than later. Anyways, I'm going to show you what my 38-week bump looks like. It may be 
my last bump shot. And then I am planning on doing, I'll just say now. <laughs> so if this is my last pregnancy update, I do plan on doing postpartum updates. So I'll probably do like weeks one through six. And I mean, if I end up having a C-section, I guess there'll probably be more to talk about. I don't know. I never have had a vaginal delivery, so I don't know how that goes. But C-sections are a lot of recovery time. So yeah, so I'll be doing postpartum updates on myself and the little baby. So that's what I plan on doing probably weeks one through six, like I said. So I will keep you guys updated. I did plan on doing a labor and delivery video. I don't know how that will work with my C-section, but I'll try to maybe film something for you. And yeah, let me show you my bump. All right, guys, what are your final guesses? Here is my 38 week bump. Do you think baby is a boy? or a girl. Keep in mind that baby is breech, so it's bottom is <laughs> down here and its head is up here. So when I had my ultrasound, the head is up here, the back is right here, and then its little bum is sitting perfectly in my cervix and its feet are coming up this way. So here we are, 38 week bump, Possibly my last bump shot. Hopefully my last bump shot. I will update you guys on my stomach progress as well in my postpartum updates. So be on the lookout for that. Let's get a back shot. Just... There you have it. 38 weeks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss little babe because I'm pretty sure it'll be here next week. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.